Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tom and today I'm at Jordan's Furniture at the West Farms Mall in Farmington, Connecticut. This Jordan's opened on December 15th, 2023 and I filmed this video the next day on Saturday, December 16th. This Jordan's is located in the old Lord & Taylor which closed in 2020. And if you want to see what this location used to look like, check out my two previous videos on West Farms Mall. I'll include a link to those videos in the description of this video. And just a heads up, this Jordan's has some of the loudest copyrighted music I've ever heard playing in a store before. So I had to remove most of the background sound and replace it so that I didn't get multiple copyright claims on this video. I did keep most of the conversations I had with my mom in the video though. But in order to give a more accurate feel for what it's like to shop at this store, I did add background music as well. I don't normally put background music in my videos anymore, but I felt that it was appropriate in this case, so hopefully it's not too distracting. Also, the music that I added is fairly similar to what was actually playing at Jordan's. Now, just a little background about Jordan's furniture. Jordan's was founded in 1918 by Samuel Tatelman, and the first store was opened in Waltham, Mass. The business was owned by the Tatelmans until 1999, when it was sold to Berkshire Hathaway. However, the Tatelmans still are involved in the company, with Samuel Tatelman's grandson, Elliot Tatelman, currently serving as the CEO and spokesman for the company, and you'll see him a lot in most of the ads. There are currently nine Jordans locations, four in Mass, two in Connecticut, one in Maine, one in New Hampshire, and one in Rhode Island. So if you live outside of New England, there's a good chance you've never heard of this place before. The up escalator's not working, apparently. Oh. That could be a problem. This is actually my first time inside a Jordan's furniture store, and I have to say it's somewhat impressive. I don't go to a lot of furniture stores though, as I only buy new furniture maybe every five or 10 years, but this is definitely the nicest one I've ever been in. One of the things that sets Jordan's furniture apart from most other furniture stores is that many of them include dining and entertainment in addition to the furniture. For example, the Natick Mass location has a full IMAX theater, Three of the locations have an indoor ropes course. The New Haven, Connecticut location supposedly having the largest indoor ropes course in the world. Uh, the Reading Mass location has a replica of downtown Boston made out of jelly beans. And the Avon Mass location has a display called the Enchanted Village, which was originally located at Jordan Marsh, no relation to Jordan's furniture, in Boston. So I have to say, based on all of what I mentioned above, I was a little disappointed to see that in relation to entertainment, this Jordan's only has an 80 by 30 foot LED screen, which we'll take a look at in a few minutes. It's definitely impressive, but also somewhat underwhelming in my opinion, as I'm used to seeing movies in IMAX, so it's really nothing I haven't seen before. However, from what I understand though, a restaurant called Sally's A Pizza will be opening in the space directly in front of this screen in April of 2024. So I guess you'll be able to watch the screen while you're eating at the restaurant, so that could be kind of fun. Also, again, I don't go to a lot of furniture stores, but in my opinion, a lot of the prices at this store seem to be very high. Then again, I just could be very much out of touch when it comes to current furniture pricing. But let me know what you think about this store and the prices on the furniture in the comments section. And don't forget, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and hit that notification bell. I've got a lot more store walkthroughs and mall videos coming up. Thanks. Lots of gray. Because it's supposed to look rusty. But this looks very, uh, like wood veneer type. And there's a lot of gray. I'm not going to comment on all the pricing here, but most of these bureaus seem to be in about the $1,000 range, and a lot of the beds seem to range from about $1,000 to $3,000. The $1,000 does not sound bad to me, but $3,000 is definitely up there, at least from my point of view. Again, I could be completely off saying that that's expensive. That being said though, the quality of the furniture here does seem to be quite a bit better than other stores like Bob's Discount Furniture, which I've bought a few things from them and it's not the, it's not the best quality stuff. It is cheap though.
enjoying everything so far. Good. Wonderful. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. One thing that had me a little bit worried about filming here was that there were a lot of salespeople on the floor, and I'm sure that they were on commission because they were all fairly aggressive when it came to coming up to me and um, trying to get me to buy something, which is fine, but I was really worried that they were going to ask me to not film. However, none of them mentioned the camera at all, so they don't seem to care if you film here. At least that was my experience. Want a chandelier like that? That looks very much like the uh, bureau I got from Bob's. Oh, yes. It's higher, but the, um, the handles or whatever are the same. Oh, yeah. And. Yeah, this is a little bit more solid. Mine is like, it's hollow when you. Oh, this is not. Not that feels very solid. So I guess I have the knockoff version. Yeah, so it's, this one's nicer, but but mine was only two hundred dollars from Bob's, and that one's fifteen hundred. So you can go to Bob's and get a cheap one for two hundred bucks, or you can come here, spend fifteen hundred dollars, get pretty much the same appearing bureau, but way higher quality. Kind of like a panic button. Oh, yeah. Lost in the maze. Yeah, I do think this store is kind of set up like a maze. It's kind of hard to tell where you are at any given point. And, you know, I'm a big fan of dark rides at amusement parks, and I think they could easily put, like, a moving car in here and just take you around the whole thing, and this would feel a lot like a dark ride. It looks almost like beach stuff. It's that... I don't know how, like if you were at a, like a nice cottage in Rhode Island or something, yeah. you would, you'd have like light, lightly stained wood like that yeah. and just imagine like some seashells and, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at that backboard. Wow. I meant to say headboard, um, but I'm not sure I'm a fan of something that ornate for a headboard. Not really my style. Oh, we got a matching wardrobe. Good, how are you? No, just looking really. Yeah. All right, yeah, thanks. Oh, and that one's different, the way it wraps around the side. Mm-hmm. I can see you getting up in the night and smacking your head on it. So how are you guys liking this store so far? And what do you think of the furniture? I would say overall, I like most of the stuff here. Some of it though is just a little bit too fancy for me personally. My style is a bit more subdued than this. Um, and like I said earlier, a lot of it is just way outside my price range. Like they have a lot of these beds uh, that I mentioned like three, $4,000. And then you add a bureau, another thousand. So a lot of these full bedroom sets would easily run you probably five to ten thousand dollars, which I literally could not afford. Maybe if I get a hundred thousand to a million subscribers or so for this channel, maybe then I'd be able to uh, afford to buy furniture here, but not today.
Look at that bed. It's enormous. That's kind of ridiculous, actually. <laughs> yeah, some of these beds are so high off the ground that you could really use a set of stairs to get in and out of them, especially if you're older. But I mean, that backboard is yeah. huge. The headboard. The entire room. You need a huge yeah. room. Oh, there's an elevator. We can go up to the second floor that way. How much are they asking for the puffer fish? 30 bucks. 30 bucks? I got a nautical theme here. Baby section looks like. Oh, here we are. I wasn't sure where it was taking us. We didn't go down this way, so. The room we're going in next is called the outlet, so I'm assuming this is the less expensive stuff. I guess this is the more slightly more affordable stuff. Those birch trees kind of remind me of the fake trees they have in the Natick Mall. Yes, these prices are much more reasonable. Yeah, these were much more affordable. That bureau was about, I think, 200 something, and the bed was maybe 300 something. So. Quite a bit less than in the other room we were just in. I tried really hard to avoid the salespeople, but it was almost impossible. I'm guessing because this was essentially the first full day that this store was open, that um, they were really out in force and they really wanted to show their boss how many uh, sales they could make because, like I said, they were everywhere. It's big like that couch I had. Oh, yeah. Takes up the whole room. No, it's no heat coming off. It says heat capacity, but yeah. it must be, uh, maybe the heat's turned off. 
Yeah. Just doing it for the yeah, effect. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think those look good. And I think the wood looks very fake. Kind of like my couch. This one might be a little bit nicer. Mine was only eight eight hundred. Yeah. Because I figure I'll I'll wear through it. Not too many years. Oh yeah, yeah for computer stuff. Then you get the cheapo chairs like this. They look like they're right out of the 80s. Ah, 600 bucks for that looks like. It looks like something you'd see at Goodwill that, you know, Grandpa dropped off. <laughs> no, no, it's just. Yeah, this is much lighter weight. Oh, I can just see the way it moves. Yeah. It's... And it's got that particle board smell, which I think is glue oh. drying. Yeah, because that's what particle board is. It's just wood chips held together with glue. Okay. Ah, that's kind of a fancy standing desk. It is. Fourteen ninety nine. Usually don't see standing desks with stuff like this, with actual drawers. As you might have noticed, a lot of these rooms have themes, and I would say the theme of this room is hands, which I have to say is an unusual theme, but there it is. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you got different ones over here. You get the peace sign. Yeah. Or the okay sign. The thumbs up. Yeah, too bad they don't have the middle finger ones. Oh, that, <laughs> that, that one almost looked like the yeah. middle finger. Yeah. How much are they charging for this? Oh my god. How much do you think this is? Uh, 800. 400. 400. But still, still too nice. much. And if you were a plumber, you could put that together. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, that would be a very cheap thing to put together. Yeah. yeah. We came in that way. So now here's the, quote, entertainment part of this Jordans. I got this cool archway here, which looks a lot like something I saw at Mohegan Sun Casino not too long ago. It's kind of cool, but nothing special. And then they have this giant screen that I was talking about. It's uh, 80 feet by 30 feet. And to the left there is where that restaurant Sally's A Pizza is going to go in. So I guess once they take down that wall there on the left, I'm assuming they'll be you know, restaurant tables right there and you'll be able to watch the screen while you eat. 
Now, don't worry, I'm not leaving the Jordans yet. I just want to go outside into the mall here just to take a look at the entranceway from the mall, just to see what it looks like. And again, if you want to see what this used to look like just a couple months ago, take a look at my uh, latest video on West Farms Mall. So we'll go back in here. Yeah, it's like it's bigger than a normal movie screen. It's an LCD screen, so it's not a not a projection. It's like a giant TV. I guess this would be the New York room. This is the sleep lab where basically they sell the mattresses and my mom didn't want to come in here because she thought they were going to be a little bit too aggressive uh, sales wise and she was right uh, if you saw when we came in here there's a guy straight across from me I saw him he started following me and I was gonna take a left here but then I saw he was coming to intercept me so I turned around to try and avoid him see there he is right over there to the right and I went back this way but he continued to follow me, and he did eventually catch up to me at the other end of the room. But uh, luckily, again, he didn't say anything about the filming, and I just kind of escaped um, with some small talk. Hi. Good. All right, so now let's head on up to the second floor and see what they got. $350. That looks very uh, like 1960s. 
ish, fifties, sixties. Looks like one of those old um, record players like you had, right? Like the console. Is it like a push thing? Yeah. If you push it, it bounces out. I've never seen chairs on display like that before. No. Four hundred twenty-five dollars for that, and that that one at the end is six hundred dollars. Looking back, I'm thinking those prices might have been for a set of those chairs, not an individual chair. I'm not sure about that though, but that would make more sense price-wise. Oh, there's the mall. Oh. Hey, how are you? How are you? Good, how are you? Right there. Yeah. No, 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 just no, browsing. Thanks. I'm gonna take a quick look from the outside. Yeah. Yeah, because you wouldn't want to. You wouldn't want to pull it in and out every time. This is 13. That's not a bad price. What am I kidding you? You think that's not a good price? Oh. Well, I mean, compared to everything else. But yeah, you could find stuff like that at Goodwill for 50 cents. So I guess this is the kitchen for dining room area. I guess they have a design center here. Yeah, how to create your own dining room set. Oh, yeah. Like what? Hugs. How much are those? It, it kind of makes it easy to navigate because there's only one way to go. Yeah. Like you have to go like this rather than like all over the place. Right, right. One, one, two.
big hole in the escalator. Oh, well, that's never <laughs> There's a whole step missing. Oh. Which would explain. Let's go in here first. That seems expensive, $5,300 oh, wow. or $54 actually. And it's only a two-piece it says. It says two-piece sectional, so yeah. I assume that's just this side and this side. I don't know, that seems like uh, many times more expensive than it should be. That's like a maybe $2,000. One thing that I believe was definitely overpriced, in my opinion, were these paintings that they were selling. The prices just seemed way higher than they should be. But let me know what you think about that in the comments. I how much those paintings are. Oh my god. $600. $500. They're not even, it's not, not signed or anything, so I don't know. I don't know about that. Good, how are you? Yeah, yeah, Let's browsing. Is anybody keeping track of how many times I've been approached by a salesperson so far? I think we're up to like at least five or six times. No, just, yeah, just trying to get an idea of what's here. Your grandfather thought. Oh. Grandfather thought only twenty three hundred. No, this should lead us out towards the escalators, eventually.
60 bucks on that. 60. Oh, okay. But if you want a decoration like that, just get a real one from oh, sure. a flea market. Yeah. Oh, and they have these photos oh, yeah. on the wall. 200 bucks. Oh, Never seen one of those. Yeah, yeah Kodak. With the little uh, cube thing. Yeah, the cube. This clock was kind of interesting on a, it almost looks like it's on a level. They're charging uh, $28.49 for it though, so a little pricey, but it does look nice. like a sofa couch but yeah yeah I wonder if it does it on both sides these are probably more comfortable than the old ones that would have the like the metal bar oh, running yeah. through them Going and going. It would make a good uh, Twilight Zone episode where you just can't ever get out. It's like that fake suede type oh, yeah. stuff. That looks like a couch we used to have, I think. Or maybe you had, maybe. Uh, well, we had With a, that a center of console. Yeah. Oh my god. How much do you think? 350. You know what these look like? Um, you can go online, you can see, upload your photo to a website, and they yeah. put these canvas prints. Like sure. they just, it's just a canvas print where it goes over the edge. Oh, yeah. After I filmed this video, I went to one of the many canvas print websites on the internet, and um, I priced one out. One that's 24 by 36 inches, which is bigger than these, you can get for about $100 shipped. 
So they're basically marking up a canvas print about three times. So this must be the leather section. Oh yeah. That looks reasonably priced for that big couch only. Oh yeah. Two thousand. Forty-three ninety-nine, fifty-five hundred. Six thousand for this one. I don't know where we are. <laughs> I think they, I think it took us in, um, it's like wrapping us around the whole upper level. Yeah. Well, I guess it'll let us out eventually. But you should get one of these. Oh. I think it raises you up automatically now. Oh, yeah. Try it out here. No. Oh, it's very soft. Feel it. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. It's like an airline, uh, it's an air, like an airline seat. Oh, wow. I guess it would hold a... Oh my god, yes. Yeah, a tablet. Yep. Yeah. Look at that one. It's got the controls on the armrest, just oh, like yeah. in an airplane. Yeah. And that little one looks horrible. That, that looks like something you'd see for 150 bucks at Goodwill or something. on this one. <laughs> How much do you think? Three. Uh, Three thousand, yes. Two, uh, $29.99. Okay. Yeah, this is the horse room. Maybe it's all horse leather. Huh. Oh yeah, here's the entrance. No. But we have to go down the escalator. Oh, okay. And then we can walk out. Oh, you can see the screen through here. Yeah, we came in down there. Yeah. Do an interactive designer. This is a very weird chair. I've never seen a chair this overstuffed before. It actually doesn't look comfortable. It seems like you'd be sitting up so high and the back is so low that it would just be hard to sit in. 
I could imagine it being used more as a bed than a chair. Very strange. And also, just so you get an idea of how bad the copyrighted music was in here, I originally had included 10 seconds of me talking to my mom about that chair, and it got a copyright claim for 10 seconds of audio, and it said my entire video could not be monetized because of 10 seconds of a song. It, that's just crazy. So obviously I had to go back and take it all out. It's very soft. That doesn't feel very durable. I can see it wearing a hole in that one. Okay, this is the Roman room. Yeah, or Greek, possibly. Oh my gosh. How much do you think those are? 700. Yeah, see, so it took us, it wrapped us around the whole way. See, we came in, we entered down that side, and it wrapped us all the way around. We didn't go down here, entertainment. This is what they're calling the entertainment room. Seems very cheap. Yeah. Like, I mean, cheaply made, not inexpensive. Oh yeah. Well, it's supposed to look like like a salvage from like a train yard or something. Oh yeah. yeah. But it's new obviously. Right. You'd see something like that at Brimfield. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice but they have just these pockets. They don't have the return system. That's pretty cool, actually. That's yeah. and not super expensive. Not that I'm into air hockey, but if I were, all right. So we'll walk this way and then down the escalator. I see a big hole in the escalator. Oh, there is a big hole.
And there you have it. That's Jordan's Furniture at West Farms Mall in Farmington, Connecticut. Let me know what you think about this place. Overall, I thought it was fairly impressive, but again, on the expensive side, at least for me. But uh, if you can afford this stuff, I would say this is a, a pretty nice place to shop. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and hit that notification bell. I've got a lot more videos coming up of store walkthroughs, mall walkthroughs, and of course flea markets. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.